that is me. You might be wondering what's happening here. I just failed the PNPT exam and let me explain to you why. What's up YouTube? I'm a hacker. <coughs> Wanna be ethical hacker, sorry. And I just failed the PNPT exam. Let me give you a bit of background first before we get into some of the exam. I've been hacking for less than a year. I started my journey around January 2021 on Try Hack Me and Hack the Box. And around that time, I quickly realized that Hack the Box wasn't anything to start with because I literally knew close to nothing. I had my first year of university coming up in March. And so I put all the hacking on hold and focused on my university computer science until I stopped in October. Now, since then, I've been doing a lot more Try Hack Me stuff. I got into Hack the Box as well. And I'm currently ranked pro hacker, if I'm not mistaken. I have one certification, which I got in October. That is the EJPT. And this time I was trying out for the PNPT, which is supposedly beginner friendly. The exam consists of three parts, like you know, OSINT, which I suck at by the way, an external pen test and an internal one. I started off the OSINT, you know, the basic employee stalking and whatnot. And then I moved on to the start of the external pen test. And here comes the first problem. I was so used to doing CTF type stuff like hack the box. I treated this exam like a CTF. A lot of people tell you that these platforms help you learn a lot. And I don't disagree because there's a lot you can learn from try hacking and hack the box and all these other platforms. But in turn, they condition you the wrong way. This was supposed to be a real world assessment. And here I was approaching it as a CTF. Hence, I couldn't find anything during my first day of the exam which got me disappointed, no cap. It took me an entire day to realize I had to approach it as a real world assessment, even though this was mentioned in the rules of engagement. Second day, I found something and I was able to get into the network. And at this point, I was like, it has to be smooth sailing from here because I went through the whole PEH course, so I'm set, right? That wasn't the case. As I ran into a lot more roadblocks and memes, the memes made me frustrated. The TCM team are such good troll. I would read about how everything on the course was enough to prepare you for the exam online on Twitter, LinkedIn, and all those chats. But while I was taking the exam, I was thinking to myself, Stop the cap! <laughs> Stop the cap right now! Stop the cap! No bullshit, bro! I compromised a couple of machines on the inside, but I couldn't get past that because like an idiot, I didn't listen to the part where Heath mentioned that it is like a real world assessment, so firewalls and antiviruses exist inside the network. I ran out of ideas before I ran out of time, and that is one major factor here, time. I don't think you could ever run out of time unless you find something last minute, but you will definitely run out of ideas if you do not know what you're doing. And of course, like the hacker I am, I went to Google, but Googling didn't get me anywhere. I tried everything I could find and nothing worked because it didn't apply to this specific scenario, which highlights how important understanding concepts is. The course you purchase with the exam, if you choose to do so, is detailed and very informative. But at this point, I don't know if it was enough to prepare me for the exam or I was just being dumb and overthinking things. I do know for a fact that I missed something important earlier on in the engagement. And so I didn't understand some of the stuff that I was meeting later on in the engagement. Hi, there's a lot going on here. I'll be back with an update when I finally get the cert and I'll tell you what I may have missed in my preparations. Till then, cheers.